وهو الذي جعلكم خلائف الأرض ورفع بعضكم فوق بعض درجات ليبلوكم فيما آتاكم إن ربك سريع العقاب وإنه لغفور رحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sparing our soul to this moment. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin, gradually, gradually, we are moving to the end of Ramadan. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our ibadah in this month, daring, and make us to witness more of this Ramadan in our lifetime. Inshallah, we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we accept all our deeds as acts of ibadah and count it amongst the best of all deeds that we ever performed, Inshallah. This time out, we'll be looking at the topic, Mother, Source of Paradise of a Child. Mother, Source of Paradise of a Child. Mother is our female folk that give birth to a child, and we know without a mother, they can't be a father and they can't be parents. So the mother is actually that person that carries the child in our womb and brought the child out. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has laid great emphasis on the role of a mother in the life of a child. Allah mentioned this in Quran, so as to look more, Quran thirty one verse fourteen, where Allah says, "And we have enjoined on man to be dutiful and good to his parents." His mother bore him in weakness and hardship, upon weakness and hardship. And this winning in his two years, give thanks to me and to your parents, unto me is the final destination. This parent daring his mother, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the mother daring without missing what we did. Allah said his mother bore him in weakness and hardship, in weakness and hardship. While his mother is going through the birth of a child, she has a lot of things that goes on in her body, you know, some parents, some women, while in pregnancy, you hear them that I can't eat this food, some of us sleep, some do have extra duty, all because they want to bring forth a, a soul to, to the world. And you know, different people have different ways of responding to pains. That is why Allah Mantala has mentioned this verse in the Holy Quran. And the very popular verse where Allah Mantala has enjoined on us how to honor our parents. Allah says in Quran 17 verse 22, Allah said, And your Lord has decreed that you worship none but him. And that you should be dutiful to your parents. If one of them or both of them attain old age in your life, say not to them a word of disrespect, nor shout at them, but address them in terms of honor. Then this is to, to tell us that as mothers, as parents, there will be a time that we have grown older and our parents and our children will maybe will be with power with us. And so child. Must, was, must be difficult to appear even at old age because they are old that doesn't mean that you should be unkind to them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enjoyed us to be kind to them in this way also going further Allah says that we should pray to them you should pray for them furthermore it's equal to this verse in verse 23 Allah enjoyed us to pray for our parents even when they reach this old age that we should pray to them that they should Allah should honor them more than they take care of us while we are young in these verses Allah makes us to realize that parents have deserved kindness from children because they raise them with gentleness and often make great sacrifices for their well-being. Unlike for adults, there is this popular saying that people used to say that while the child is growing up, the, the parent takes care of that child for the child to survive. And while the child is taking care of the parents at all, they, the child takes care of that child, that mother, so that the mother can withstand or the parent can withstand the treasure treasure of adulthood. You know, there's a difference between nurturing a child to maturity and nurturing a parent to survive the treasure before death. So that's why as as children, we must give kudos to our parents. A companion once comes to the Prophet Salam and asks him which of the many good deeds can a man do that is most loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet Salam tell, told him, he answered him by saying, to offer the prayer in his proper time. The companion then asked, and what again? He said, to which verse the right to be good and to be to your parents, to be good and dutiful to your parents. Also, this popular verse, this popular verse that we see here, when a, 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 a Sahaba went to meet Prophet said, Who should I give my love to, my respect and honor to? And I said, your mother. He said, he asked again, what next? He said, your mother. What next again? He said, your mother. And on the fourth question, he now said, your father. To show us that the mother, though she's not the only one that brings forth a child, but she's such a, she surely has a duty bound that a child must, what, must do to such a parent. And the mother is not uh, left alone. Still emphasizing on this kindness and goodness to parents, we must know that our, right, our responsibility must be on all through their lifetime. Either we are small now, or we are at old age, even when we see our parents, 
living, you must continue to work to perform our duty unto them because they did more than what we are even doing while we were small. The Arabic word that Allah SWT used in the Quran to denote uh, goodness is albir, righteousness. In, in, the very, in one of the verses too, in Quran 2 verse 1 says, Allah said, it is not righteousness that you face east and west. And I now go back to one of those things that we should was be good to kindred and your kindred stand for your parents. There is no kindred without a parent. And the mother is that first of that because she's the one that bore a child to life. So we must know that that mother is what is part of those whom Allah SWT is making emphasis to. Those uh, the good that we must do also contains shades, meaning of kindness, compassion, respect, and even patience. Especially at an old age, you must be patient with them. You see, especially mothers, you know, we when when, when when females are doing their their relationship with husband, and husband said they nag because a woman wants things done. It's not that she's nagging; she just wants things to be done. In the same old age, a woman because she has seen a lot of things all through her lifetime, she might emphasize on some things. And a child at that point in time must what must be patient with such a, a parent, especially that mother at that point in time. Parents, especially mother, care for and nurture their children with their entire lives. But at one point, this duty reverses. Parents become old and feeble and in the need of their children. And this care must be given to them by their children. Because the parents cannot be strong at that point in time. Though they've been strong for us while we are growing up, the same, in the same vein, you must reverse that duty that they do for us while they are growing up as well. And it's duty ban on all children to, to do that. The child is then obligated to take care of the parents by displaying all the qualities of beer, kindness, patience, righteousness, and knowing that the reward for this is what is with Allah SWT. Nobody can reward us. Even the parent that is not showing that child, while the child is growing up, the reward is, is with Allah SWT. In the same vein, a wife that is taking care of the husband, the, the entire household, the reward, the reward is what is with Allah SWT. So the child that is taking care of the mother, her parent, the reward is what is with Allah SWT. First, Salam, Salam, the Prophet Muhammad said, if anyone possesses the following three characteristics, God will give him an easy death and bring him into his paradise. What are the characteristics? He said, gentleness towards the weak, affection towards parents, and kindness to slaves. The verse said, whoever has these three qualities, Allah SWT will make paradise easy for him. Gentleness towards the weak. Our parents, when they are old age, they are part of those that are weak. So we should be gentle to them. Affection towards parents. Look at it again. Coming again. It should be affection towards our parents, either in our age or not. And kindness to slaves. If you have these three qualities, there are things that Allah uh, is going to, uh, we, I mean, we might admit, admit us to paradise with them. From this Prophet Salam saying, we can say that goodness and kindness to parents can also ease our fears at the point of death. <laughs> إما يبلغن عندك الكبر أحدهما أو كلاهما فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما وقل لهما قولا كريما زكات أن سبق فندش مواكي عن جوتي مقبي Etu ele yi kale. Kolo, ma je ki yu shu yin shi wo. Ba atu ma anan yin lo. Kan wami otun la ay koshi la tara yin. Kiru ba yi wak ba yi ka kiri bubo ne jiri ak bubo le yu ba. Bubo ste ti kokan. Kolo, ma je ku shu yin ki anu re kotu ma de ba yin. Ma fi da yi bi yin ru ala to la la ila ila la. Mo waki awan ya wati. Kolo, mi fi yin shi konge ele yi. Akin ku yi ku ri gire. Ti yolo un ni ki yi ba yi ru wa koko da da yi pa de. Ola an wato ti ba pa de ni ya na. Ni la to jwa na bi mahama ti ane ka man shi. Ola o je ki ti ni o ba gba mo. Ola o ma fi yoli a e me jya e ma fi tala fi a jya yi. Ke li ma a ton sa du a fwa an wè. Tu li pe yi wafè ke yi nou yi o du si an kete ma ti nje te mba mo. Ka te gwa la fi o ma fè san wè yi an ka du a wotou ma gba si. Ola an ba a fwa nourou e bi fwa yi ke yi nou ton wa di. A ra yi jona ba wa du ti yi o. Zais fwa zaka. To cure our greed When we give our money to those in need Sa'is for salamun alaykum Peace be with you wa alaykum as Shais for shams, the shining sun Which Allah placed for everyone And sa'is for salah For when we pray facing him Every day facing him Till we meet our Lord Allah 
There's only one God and Muhammad is his messenger Allah La ilaha illallah Dies with duha the morning light The sun has turned from red to white Dies for Tariq a path to walk Islam as a religion that has taught all spheres of our life encourages kindness and obedience to parents even if they are not Muslim if they are not Muslim, we need to still be good towards them. All these duties that we perform, even on parents that are Muslims, are duty bound on us to perform on parents that are not Muslims. Except if they call out to that which is disobedience to our last matter. That's when we know that's when our disobedience stop. Because there's no obedience to any creature to in disobedience to our last matter, the creator. Simply the gates of paradise are open for those who share it and respect their mothers. The role of mother in the Islamic family is as important, if not more. As the role of father, who is the provider and protector of his family, the, the both have rules. Just like Rasulullah told us in our hadith that every all of you kulukum roi masala kuraiyat that you are all shepherds and shall be asked according to how you have led your flock. The father is the entire head of the family, while the mother is responsible for the children. The father is also responsible, but the mother is the first point of call because from the point she gave birth to them, she started getting responsible to, towards them from breastfeeding them. So give them the food at the right time, make sure that they are well dressed, they, are, they go out feeling comfortable and also the mother is responsible for that. So if you now know that the mother is doing all this at, at, while we are young, we must keep our duty bind on them when, they, when we grow up. A mother does not only go through both the joys and difficulties of pregnancy and giving birth, she also dedicates her whole life to nurturing and caring for her children. I've mentioned them, just name, just name it, the mother is there. The mother is the first sacred people of a child, wherever she performs that duty. Child went children are going through adolescence, she's the one that keeps the secret, she's the one that allays their friends, she's the one that like, encourages them that the world is not for them. I mean, the world is for them to go out and do their best. She's, she's, a, she's a share leader. The mother is a share leader of a child. If you want your child to perform well, you should, take the, you should, you should look at the mother. It's also a responsibility to raise and to educate them to be righteous human beings. She, she must do that. But soon after that, if you want, if you educate a woman, you have to get a nation. But if you're a man, you have just done that with one person. So your mother wants to make sure that our children excels in life. She's also responsible for their spiritual, emotional, and physical health and well-being. She do all that to make sure that they are good ambassador of Islam and ambassador of Allah and Allah. Just like we have mentioned that all women are what are the of Allah on earth. So children owe their mothers care, love, affection, and respect, and dutifulness, which you must do all through our lifetime. You mustn't say that at this point is that because my mother is now a grandma, she comes taking care of her children at home. We now leave all the children that I'm, I'm, I'm just recuperating. We, our mother are there to take care of us too, you know. Well, mothers are wonderful. While they are daughter, while they are wives, they are mothers. They become grandmas as well. They come and say thanks to our children while we are doing nursing mothers. They still do their best. Even when they are doing their best, you must not overwork them. Because they come to nurse our children, it doesn't mean that we should now give all the duties because we want to rest as a nursing mother. Now leave all the duty to grandma. Grandma will do this. Grandma will do that. We should must be careful of that at that point in time as well. The task our last month has enjoyed to mothers is large and overwhelming, and she do that with all her, with all joy. She doesn't feel bad while doing those duty. Accordingly, the reward of, for a righteous mother is nothing less than paradise in this life, and she will be pleased seeing her children esteemed and honored. You know, one of the the, the I mean, it's not it's not even one the the most of our mothers paradise as the foot of a mother. Because a Jannah title Umi. So the mother is just one, a package in all. So who is most worthy of our good companionship? Just like I've mentioned earlier on, in Adit's reference, a man came to meet the prophet and asked him, who among the people is the most worthy of my companionship? He said, your mother. Then he asked, then who, your mother, your mother, your mother. Then he said, the father. Tell us that at all point in life, we must not forget who our mother is to us. This Adit in Sahib, Wari, and Muslim. Also important is that Muslims are to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no matter what and they should not be unmindful to their parents. Why tend it to the mother as well? You must not forget the father. If I mention a mother here at all points, you should know that there is no mother what without a father. So all the care that we give to our parents is for both a mother and what and the father because there is no mother what without a father. A woman doesn't, she's not the only one that gives birth to a child. It's the coming of a father the uh, and, uh, and a mother that gives that to a child so in whatever good that we do we must extend it to both parents as well so a stern warning goes out to us as regards the danger of disrespect, disrespect, disrespect to our parents 
Rasul said in our hadith, a, came, a man came to him and asked. A young man is dying and people are asking him to say, they, to say the Kalimon. There is no God except Allah. But he is unable to do so. I'm sure we all know that hadith. The Prophet asked him, did this man offer prayers? They said yes, that he answered prayers. The Prophet went then to ask again. When he now went to see the man and encouraged him to say the Kalimah, but still he was unable to pronounce the word. The Rasulullah asked, does this woman have a father? I mean, does this woman have a mother? They said, the mother said yes. The, now said, the, mother has, the mother now said that the child has been persistently disobedient. That's why he was unable to, to say the Kalimah. So when she appeared, the Prophet asked him, Respect that lady. Is this is it your son? She said yes. He then asked, Oh, respect that lady. If we threaten to throw your son into a raging fire, would you recommend him to be cho to be forgiven? The lady replied, She would definitely ask him to be forgiven. Can you see the love of your mother? The bird now asked, Then declare, making God me and your witness, that you are now pleased with him. The old man now said, Yes, oh Allah, and you, your messenger, I bear witness that I'm pleased with this beloved son of mine. She even said, Beloved son of mine. And verse said, he turned to diamond, he said, he turned to diamond and said, recite the kalima. And the man was able to say the kalima, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah Sallam. And, and thereafter, the man gave up the ghost to tell us the love of a mother. So as Muslims, in all realms of our life, there's nothing that we must do that must lead to the disobedience of our parents. We must be, duty, be, be dutiful, honoring them and respect them and never disobey them. Also, except if that disobedience is going to lead to disobeying, except if that obedience is going to lead to disobeying Allah. Like I said, there's no disobedience to any creator in disobedience to the creator. So we must be wary of disobeying our parents. So bad behavior towards parents may result in a punishment in all fire. Just like this man. This man, like, he was, was able to say the kalima. And what was the reason why he was unable to say that? The woman said that the, 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 the child of Israel is a son preferred his wife over him. So as, as females, as daughter, we must do that while we expect our parents, honor them, listen to them at all points, and, and make them our best friend while we are growing up. Our mother must be our shared leader, must be our skip, must be our best friend as children, as daughters while growing up. And as wives too, we must still, we must encourage our husband to, to be dutiful to their husband, to their parents, because their own li uh, paradise lies at the feet of their mother. And our own paradise as females, wife, lies at the feet of our husband. So, you know, these things are intertwined. So, we must encourage our husband to, to be dutiful to their parents, their mother especially as well, while in their old age. So, we must encourage the husband to do all what it takes in their capacity. Now, as a mother, you know, I said as a daughter, being your, your being, I mean, best friend to your mother. Now, as a wife, being that best friend to your husband, so that the husband can be able to perform his duty towards his own parent. Then, as a mother now. Do all what it takes for you to nurture that child whom my last mantle has given to you. Nurture them such that you don't treat them inhumanly, you don't treat them unnecessarily, but you treat, you, treat, you tender them with, with love and mercy. And while doing that as well, don't spoil, don't be so that we spare the rod and spoil the child. You must be able to balance the upbringing so that they will be dutiful to us and be given to our last mantle because the force of all duty is what is to our last mantle, and in that wise, be able to have lead. A generation that was to to a generation that will be able to bring goodness to the world because as Muslims we are meant to what to come and make sure that peace reigns on earth. If we fail to do this, we will cause mischief on the earth. Just like last week, has warned us in Corinthians 30, verse 41 that there is mischief on the earth, and all mischief will be will be cured when mothers are duty what do their duty respectively. So I enjoy us all as mothers out there, as daughters, as wives. At every point in time in our life, we should be do what is right of us so that we can bring generation that will be due to, that will be due by to Allah and do their duty as Muslims. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our children a source of joy for us and we mothers too a source of joy to our parents. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Abban Abban and Azwa Jinnah Azwa Tokwa Esa Yini Ajayim Tekina Imamu. That is for Deen, Al Islam, religion with Allah since time began. That is for Dik, remembering Allah, and rise for the month of Ramadan. Oh, Ramadan. That is for Zakah, to cure our greed, when we give our money to those in need. Sa is for salamun alaikum, peace be with you, alaikum salam.